Okay, a couple days ago, readers of my blog know that I promised to give you a little tour of my new uh, Fedora Core 11 installation. And um, actually, I think I promised a screenshot, but I'm gonna do you one better. I'm gonna give you a little virtual tour, and I'm actually trying to record all the cool um, 3D effects, but I don't know if my, my crummy sound car uh, video card can handle it, so it might crash here, we'll see. Um, probably not though, mainly, uh, well, anyway, on with the tour. <laughs> Shut up, Chuck. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. All right, so um, one thing that I really like about Linux is uh, that I've got all these different desktop areas, and uh, this is my, my internet desktop where I will open my internet applications. Um, so right now you can see I've got my browser open and I just opened a couple other programs. This will be a big test of the CPU. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, and so right now on this desktop I have my browser, my chat client, and my email. Um, my chat client, I just want to show you this really cool. It's Copy. It's really cool. And one of the things that's great about it is that I can chat across <clears throat> all these different protocols. I can do AOL, I can do Gadu Gadu, Jabber, ICQ. Um, I can send SMS text messages to any phone in the world um, for free. I can chat on Skype, I can do Windows Live, and I can do Yahoo, um, which is the one I usually do. But I'm not gonna add an account right now just because I, I just want to show that to you. Oh, another cool thing in the internet section that you should see is uh, my BitTorrent client views. We'll get back to that. Views is awesome. Views is the future of the multimedia internet. I mean, this thing, it's so good that, you know, even the major movie studios are on board with it, as you will soon see. Blah, 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 blah. Cancel. I don't care about that. Did not shut down entirely. I know that. Um, but... Play it! Turn on the sound. Is this HD, I wonder? Pearl Jam really, really rocks. I love them. So, anyway, we'll use that as a backdrop, background sound. Why not? Alright. So I've got uh, all this stuff going on here on this workspace, okay? But one great thing about Linux is that I can uh, have all these different workspaces. This is my multimedia workspace right here. I've got, you probably can't hear me. Yeah, okay. So I've got uh, my graphics editor, the GIMP, which is kind of like Photoshop, maybe a little better. Um, I've got a video editing thing going on. I've got, um, oh, this is a cool one. This is actually a DJing program, and, uh, no, sorry, that's not the DJing program. That's the DJing program. Oh, there it is. This is a, a DJing program. It's cool because it automatically builds a library of all your, your, um, sound files, and then you can mix them and, and do whatever you want with them. And you can do up to a jillion channels on that thing, so it's sweet. But, uh, so that's my multimedia desktop. And then I've got another desktop over here, which I'll call my system desktop. This is the package manager. It's sweet. If I had any updates, I would be able to make them automatically, but everything's up to date right now. Um, let's see what's available. What do I want? What do I want? Let's look for games. No games. Not really. <laughs> Games. Look at all these games. Let's install. Mm, educational games? Nah. Um. I don't know. All these games I could download if I wanted to. I don't really want any games. I'm not a big games guy. Look at all this gaming software. That's just gaming. 
Okay, what if I wanted audio? Let's install an audio package. Why not? Um. Hmm. Ooh, spectral mo modeling. That's freaking sweet. I already have a spectral modeling program, but actually, let's look for synths. I need a good synth. Look at all those synthesizers. Fluid synth is a really good one. Look at that. So we'll install fluid synth. And fluid synth will show up in my menu shortly after being installed. Boom, it's done. Just installed a new program, a synthesizer. And it shows up. Oh, it doesn't show up in my menu yet. Huh, that's weird. Okay. Oh, it's still packaging, uh, it's still processing. Okay, well anyway. So that's my system. Um, How does it show up? Let's see. No, it doesn't. Huh. Okay, well I guess I need to reboot for fluid synth to show up in the menu. It might show up in other sometimes they do. Nope. Okay. So that's my um, my whatever you want to call it. I could open another workspace here if I wanted to. Let's say I was doing office productivity. I could open uh, and I can open calc. And I'll open, um, yeah, what else? Office, office. Let's open writer. Should cover all of these. Alright. So. So now on this workspace, I've got um, two instances of Word, basically. Writer, it's called, in OpenOffice. I've got a spreadsheet open, I've got a drawing program open, etc. So that's great, you know, I've got all these different workspaces where I can keep everything separate. All my system tasks are here. Let's look at the system monitor that's cranking. Actually, it's not that bad. Hmm. I'll be darned. Check this out. This is cool. Search. One reason that Linux blows everything else out of the water, except for other Unix systems, is search. Let's see. I want to find. I have uh, 600 megabytes uh, or 600 gigabytes of hard drive to search here. I'm going to find every file named Chuck, which there are probably a lot of them. Every file and folder. Bam! Look at that. Like one second, it finds all of them. Sweet. And that is why Google uses Linux. And uh, so, that's done. And I hope you enjoyed my tour. And I hope you'll give uh, Fedora Core 11 a try, because it's sweet. Have a nice day, and may the force or the source be with you.